welcome back to the channel this is a day out in london this is the outfit i literally have nothing for this heat wave and yes we have a heat wave it's september we have a heat wave so strange everyone comments saying like what it is they're like oh it's like just that part of the summer of london it's just gonna happen i'm like okay that's fine but i have zero clothes i swear i don't have any clothes i have like this top on with the purse cute that's cute and then the, these pants which i think are cute um and i have that and then i'm wearing my birch with it not the best outfit decision i don't think but it's comfortable and i wore my flip-flops yesterday and i got blisters everywhere so i'm not doing that again going out we're meeting my friend Daisy it is her last final few days in London and so we are just going around celebrating doing the fun London thing so touristy it's gonna be great we're gonna go to a coffee shop that she wants to go to and then we're going to the British Museum I think now I'm not sure now she's she's like really what's it called she's very positive about this British Museum but I know that it takes forever to get in the British Museum on a weekend. Now, maybe because it's sunny and it's warm, not many people are gonna wanna be there, because normally like when it's rainy and cloudy, people go to the museum, right? But weekends, there's so many tourists, and so it takes forever. The lines are so long, and it's not even worth it, because if you go on a weekday, the lines are lit there's no one in line. So it's just, you know, you're kind of just sitting in there in line, wasting time when you can go on a weekday. But I guess it's not wasting time for her because you know, she's about to leave, so she doesn't really have any more weekdays left. But we're gonna try. She's also a vlogger, so she will also have her camera, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, let's go meet her in our cute little spunky outfit. <laughs> I know which is a shocker that is ending in about two weeks because I don't really use it I you know I don't walk around as much anymore because I live in a different area and there's not that close of a prep to me so I always make my coffee at home save some money you know I don't really need the prescription subscription prescription <laughs> yeah medicine I don't need the subscription anymore the Russell Square Gardens is so nice look how oh my gosh Look how picturesque this is. Look how beautiful. I mean, besides the scaffolding. But look at those rows of townhomes. Oh. I really am truly going to miss London so much though. For real. Daisy rode the wrong bus. So, she's gonna be a tad bit, not late, but later than what she just texted me, which is totally fine. I told her, I was like, I remember drinking my first beer. She's acting like she hasn't been living in London for a while now. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm messing with you, Daisy, if you watch this. <laughs> oh, those are tennis courts. There. Tennis courts. See? I just had this thrill of a love for the book I'm reading, and I'm so obsessed with it, I cannot wait. I have like 50 pages left and when it comes to reading like that I do not read on the tube I don't read on my commute I don't read in between my plans I will not do that because I think that the book deserves to be read with a full day to where I can sit in the emotions I can cry all day if I want to and it's the only thing I can think about all day and it deserves that I'm so excited for tomorrow because for my Sunday I have zero plans and so I'm gonna go, you know, do my morning routine and then come home and then read and finish the book. And then I'm gonna wish that I didn't because I'd want the third book, which only comes out October 24th, which I'm so excited to read. Oh my gosh. I, I like cannot wait. I'm terrified. I, I literally went on Spotify and looked up a playlist for those two main characters. And I've been listening to music, imagining I'm the main character, the girl. I'm imagining I'm Evangeline. It is so bad. But I get really obsessive over books like this. 
and I really, really fall into the characters and really empathize with them. And it's just, it's a 360 circle. It happens every single time. And I'm excited. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to read. Like, you have no idea how excited I am to, to wake up tomorrow and read. Oh my gosh, this is the line. Wow. Okay. The cinnamon sticky bun. <laughs> so good. I have no oh God, idea. Look, she has one. Oh. Oh. I have no idea what I'm gonna get. This is the worst, the worst thing I can see in the best way because you have to decide, right? Like it's like a overwhelmed lot of, by choice. If you're overwhelmed and there's a lot of anxiety. So Daisy and I. One thing we can relate on is we love the pumpkin scones from Starbucks, like the fall one, and they discontinued them. I take that personally, actually. <laughs> I do too, they're so good. No, I'm okay. We have our cinnamon bun buns. Did you see the beignets they had in there? They were making beignets when we were leaving because the girl next to us bought a beignet. Oh, we're licking fingers. Slay. <laughs> <laughs> Izzy Biscuits just said slay. Just Not with me. <laughs> Percy Jackson coming out because uh -huh. they're saying Sun God Helios. Oh. Roman God. But but it's all from Greek mythology though, right? That's Greek... Roman mythology. Okay. The, the Sun God in Greek mythology, I'm pretty sure, is um We'll look it up. Like please fact check me, we'll but see. also don't make me sound dumb right now. <laughs> I'm sweating. Daisy's like, we can't find AC, we just need to go find climate controlled paintings. I'm see? like there's, That's there's some art on up here. Yeah, <laughs> but maybe they're only climate controlled in the box, which would sink the box. But maybe not. Like if they're like in a in case, like oh, a little encasement yeah. over it, you know, on the wall. That's like so much effort. I feel like they <laughs> like just, just put it in Just the AC. Yeah. I'm now home and I'm chugging so much water. I feel so dehydrated. It is so hot outside and it's fall. I like, I don't like it. It's just uncomfortable. But it was a great, great morning with Daisy. We had great time, great pastries, great weather, really. It is, even though it's hot, the sun is really nice being out. And now I'm doing everything I can in my body to not read my book because I don't know how to explain this. Like, I really don't know how to explain it correctly. If I start, I want to be able to finish it. I don't want to be interrupted. So I think I can finish it, but I don't want to rush it either. You know, I don't, because I have something to go to at around like 6 p.m. and it's 1.30 and yes, you'd think that's plenty of time, right? But sometimes I like to pause, maybe look up some fan art and I don't know, like I just like taking my time. I do not, the last thing I wanna do is be interrupted in the middle of my reading. That is not good vibes, not good. I mean, think about it. It's like watching your favorite movie, like okay, Twilight fans. Think of watching Breaking Dawn. This is a spoiler too, by the way. Think about watching Breaking Dawn and then pausing right after Carlisle's head gets ripped off. No, like you can't, you have to watch to see what happens. You're, you know, there's just, there's just too much going on. You cannot just pause it. It's just a crime. It's rude. It's insulting, honestly. And I cannot do that with the book. And I know I'm on the last like 50, 60 pages, like I told y'all. So I know stuff is about to go down. You just know it. it's at the end of the book. So my rule of thumb is that if you're in the last 100 pages of the book, you're already pushing it by starting to read it when you have to go to something or have to do something. You must allow yourself to have that 100 pages at home or wherever you're at uninterrupted. You know, it's just a rule of thumb. Anyways, I'm trying not to pick it up because I want tomorrow to be like a day of reading and so I can finish it. But now I have like five hours and so I think I might just start editing my vlog, which I think I'm just gonna do because it'll distract me. I'll start watching TV and then I'll start thinking about the book and being like, okay, I could be reading instead of watching TV. So I can't do that right now. I think I might get a Coke Zero and then put some lemon in it and drink it out on my balcony too, like something like that. But I'm gonna take a break from vlogging, but I will meet y'all back um, later because I'm going out. So see y'all soon. 
here in golden hour lighting as you can see oh my gosh it looks so good with the makeup and i love pink i do pink when i do pink color i feel like my eyes are bluer so this is the outfit tonight we have this cute top we have pink eyeshadow on and we're going out to a birthday dinner celebration it's gonna be fun i think i'm leaving my vlog camera here and i'm just gonna record on my iphone if i can we'll see how much i can get y'all but it should be really fun and then i think we're going out after we are up in the air on that don't know depending on how i feel because i am tired your girl is tired she's had a long weekend and i've been to bed two nights in a row past 12 and that is not normal for me i love my 10 p.m like in bed reading nice and comfy cozy and then you know going to bed early but i i mean i like i feel confident tonight i feel good tonight so Maybe I'm gonna stay out and about. We'll see. Oh my god. 